Hello and welcome back to the next episode on the um, L200 project. So um, I'll show you the engine noise now. We'll start it up. So I don't know how much you can hear of it there. But I'll give it a little bit of a rev. Sounds like outside. Right, so that's what it sounds like from outside. As you can hear, it's, um, it's quite a loud knocking, ticking noise, whatever, whatever you uh, want to call it. Uh, I've checked the oil level. That's fine. Um, previous owner did get the cam belt changed hoping that it was a timing problem or whatever and that didn't fix it so it's got a new cam belt on it and new belts and so on so um i think the next step is to chuck all the front end of it up get the sump off and have a look in there um see if i can spot anything loose um down there and these are all changed anyway so it's not going to be a bad thing to get the sump off and have a good look in there so uh I'll uh, cut back in once I've done all that. Right, a little update where we're up to. I have taken the um, sump guard, which is that one there, and the under tray, which is that one. And um, the sump guard bit was a bit a bit dodgy, uh, a bit rusty, and the bolts are still in there from that, but not to worry. Um, it's a little bit crusty, but it doesn't look rotten. Which is good. It's all like um, dry surface rust, which is good. So you can see the sump in there, which is what I'm aiming to get off. But I think this anti roll bar will have to come down for it to come out. Um, but what I'm thinking is just to make things easier, let's take, um, might take this whole front end off. Might make just, just a getting at everything a lot easier so I'll get on with that I think. Right so as you can see I've pulled all the uh, front end, a lot of the bolts snapped. Um, it was relatively easy to get off, there's a bit of rust as you can see um, this front bit here is rotten. Um, apart from that everything else seems okay. So I've got the sump off so to get that off, we've got um, well, I think it's four bolts on the front, about eight down either side. Um, and if you undo this anti roll bar, which is two bolts, it's two bolts here, two on the other side. Um, and then the bolts at the back for the sump. Get a light on in there. The back bolts for the sump were a, were a nightmare to get off um, and then you just have to loosen this uh, thing to, for the jump the sump to fall out while everything's still attached to the car um, some people say you have to remove this steering thing um, but I didn't but um, just got the sump out and, uh, straight away chunk of something there. There's a couple more bits. So um so yeah we'll see what happens. I'll get that protective shield off there now and then we'll have a look at the uh, at the big ends. Right, so as you can see these are the big ends. Yeah that one's tight. That one's tight. That one's tight but this back one That is the culprit to my knocking noise. So, a little bit further investigation. Right then, found the problem, so I'll show you what it is. Managed to get the actual um, thing off that I showed you last time. Let's get this light again. It's a different day now. 
but hopefully you can see quite well up there. So I've got um that's oh, really on the floor. Got this one off, which is off cylinder number one, which is um in okay condition. Uh, the reason I took this off was to measure the crankshaft. Um but I won't need to do that now, I'll show you why. So this is the cap off number four. There's already some scoring in there, and this is the shell, one of them. So that has been spinning around in inside the um, inside here, along with the other one. And the other one is loose and floating around as well. And it's going to be very hard to see in there, but I'll try and show you. Um, I'm not going to be able to see it, but basically. As you can see, that one there is nice and um, clean, smooth, so it should be. But the other one's completely finished, um, all scored, scored to hell. Um, so right then. Right. So what I've decided to do with this, uh, this now, I've been looking at how much a new um, crankshaft would be for this, and. It's not really worth spending on it. You can get a crankshaft for about 300 quid. Uh, new shell bearings. By the time you've got the oil, the gaskets, everything, engine out to do the job. Um, it's not worth me doing it. So it'll be a strip for bits job. So um, yeah, I'll take you along on the journey with that one. See how it goes. And we'll do all the numbers on it. So, uh, let you know how much everything cost, how much I sold everything for. Um, couldn't find any cars getting broke on YouTube so might be something different so uh, I'll get a load of pictures of it different bits and bobs and uh, I'll get selling so yeah so that'll be the plan with this so I'll uh, get loads of pictures of the things I've got some of the bits and that are in there already but uh, yeah so uh, if you're interested in this and should see how the stripping process and the breaking process will go and roughly what I will make from this, never done it before, so we'll see. Um, then like this video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, see you in the next one.